Today we're diving deep into the Facebook Ads Manager. We'll cover why it's important to even have one, how to create one, and ultimately how to use it effectively. And whether you know it or not, you do need a Facebook Business Manager account because it can be the difference between you being able to advertise or having zero recourse if your personal ad account get suspended. Hey, it's Jaime. If you're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so let's see what the business manager is all about. So we are here at business.facebook.com. And if you don't have a business manager account, then this is the default screen that you're going to see. Now, if you do happen to have a business manager, then it's going to automatically prompt you to go to your business manager. So essentially, it's gonna log in for you. All right, so business manager, manage ad accounts, pages, and the people who work on them all in one place, it's free. So as you can see here, you can have multiple ad accounts, you can have multiple pages, and you can have multiple people in one business manager account. All right, why choose business manager? You need more than one ad account, so that's kind of what we already talked about. You need to request access to pages or ad accounts. You need to assign permissions to a lot of people working together. You need business level insights and reporting. So that gives us an overview about the business manager, but let's talk about it in real time. Let's talk about it in application. So you may think that you have a business manager account when you are running ads. Unfortunately, that's not the case. You start out with a personal ad account that is tied to all of your advertising. So whenever you create your ad account and start launching ads, it's gonna say, personal account and then it's going to have your name most of the time and then a long number associated to it as your ad account. Now, the reason that I suggest always 100% of the time to get your business manager account is because if you leave all of your advertising from your personal ad account, if for whatever reason Facebook decides to shut down that ad account, then there goes your right or your privilege to advertise on Facebook. So the moment that your personal ad account gets shut down and you're not able to appeal it successfully, then it's over. You're not able to advertise on Facebook altogether. So the reason that I suggest that you get a business manager is to create a level of separation where you're going to have your ad account within this business manager account. So you're going to have a business, business manager account and then you're going to create ad account. So I'm going to show you what that looks like in a couple of minutes. I just want you to understand this conceptually and also why I keep harping on getting your business manager account. There's some additional functionalities that we can cover as well, but most importantly, if you if you take nothing else from this video, I want you to take the I want you to take this concept away that if you go out and create that business manager account and then go on to create an ad account, if this ad account gets shut down for whatever reason, again, you could be doing the right things or the wrong things. It really doesn't matter. If Facebook shuts that down and you appeal it and you're unsuccessful, okay, that's that's not the end of the world. You can create another ad account because remember, you have the business manager right there. Now, if you would have just left it in your personal ad account and you appeal it and again, are unsuccessful, then there goes your rights. So basically, you have levels of separation to reduce the catastrophe of losing your your rights to advertise on Facebook altogether. So as a reminder, you automatically have your personal ad account whenever you're running ads, and then you're gonna be asked to create a business manager account. Well, actually, you're not gonna be asked. I encourage you to, this is what you're gonna see right now. And then you're gonna go on and create ad accounts. So I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. Now, unfortunately for me, I already have um, the limit of business manager accounts. So um, I'm not going to be able to create it. I can only give you the next steps and I'll meet you on the other side. So here again is business.facebook.com. If you don't have a business manager account, then this is the screen that you're going to see. If you already have a business manager account, then it's going to go to the screen that I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds. But if you are going to create your business manager account, all you have to do is create account and it's gonna ask you for, I believe four different things. It's gonna ask you for, what do you wanna call this, um, the business manager account, a few other details, and then you're gonna hit next. After you hit next, it's gonna ask you for additional information. It's gonna ask you for the business address, the email, the, um, the website, the phone number. It's gonna ask you for details about the business itself. And then it's gonna take you on to the next screen. So that is, it's that easy. Again, it's free, and it's something that if you already have a Facebook, ad account, 
um, it's going it's going to be go it's going to go super quickly. So remember, this is for your protection. So let me show you what it looks like on the other side. Hey, one quick second. I know that you're enjoying this video, but I have one huge favor to ask you. Next time that a scammer pretending to be from the IRS calls you, I want you to ask them the following. Are you subscribed to Jaime Resendez's YouTube channel? And if the answer is no, encourage them to subscribe and also smash that like button down below. All right, so the moment that you create your business manager account, you're gonna land right here, which is just an overview of your business manager account. Chances are you're gonna have a few blue buttons there asking you to confirm some information here and there and um, saying that you don't have any assets connected to it. So essentially pages connected to it. You don't have an ad account. It's just gonna be pretty blank. So there's not much that you're gonna be able to do right here outside of authenticating the account. So you're gonna hit business settings at the top right and if you don't have that exact same screen that i just showed you all you have to do is go up here and then go to business settings which will probably be on your shortcuts but if it's not all you have to do is scroll down and hit business settings right there and it prompts you to the actionable items of your business manager this is where you're going to control this is your hub of everything that um, should be within your business all right so on the left hand side you're going to see people you're going to you're going to have yourself by default but you're going to have the opportunity to invite people to manage the business manager. So the actual entire thing. So be very careful when you're right here. If you add somebody here, note that they are going to have certain, they're going to have certain um, access to information that you may want them to have or may not want them to have, depending on the privileges that you give them. So as you saw add, you would need to send them their email address. I'm sorry, you would need to have their email address and type it in right there and be very careful with your admin access only give that to somebody that you absolutely trust and absolutely needs to have it so just be careful about that most people are going to have the employee access there are some restrictions there but you'll um you'll be able to find that out as you get going but that's how you add people to the entire business manager uh, account now, this doesn't mean that they're gonna automatically have access to your ad accounts or to your uh, business pages. So just be just be wary of that. Now, right below that, you're gonna have partners. I don't have any partners here, but here's something that you can give, you can also give people, invite people to have permission to your manager account, partner to share assets with. Give them permission to work on your assets so they can help you manage pages or ads. So if you have a uh, if you're hiring a digital agency, if you're hi hiring an intern, if you're hiring somebody to help you out in posting, that's what you're going to need. Partner to request access from. So add a new partner and request assets to work on their behalf. So there you go. You would just go to add there. So all you have to do is add. And then you would need their business ID, which um, you would have on the, on the previous screen and also through here, which I'll show you here in a little bit. All right. So those are users and partners. Now the accounts. This is the this is a, the part that gets people the most amount of trouble. Where you go on to create your business manager account and you think you're you're set, but you're not. You just created the shell. You just created that second level that I was mentioning about. Now you need to go on and create the or attach your business pages and also attach your ad accounts or create ad accounts all together. So you have pages right here. So you can see I have a few blurred out pages right here, but what's important to you at this point is, and, and there's the business ID, by the way, which should be blurred out. <laughs> um, well, you can see a lot of blurred out information here because this is, although this is my test account, there are um, accounts that I do have to, uh, to blur out because for privacy issues for my clients. All right, so right here, when you go to pages you either add a page so you've already you already have a page going you just need to link it up to your business manager account or request access to a page if you have if you have a partner or if you want to work on somebody else's if you happen to be a digital agency then all you have to do is request access to a page never should you ever ask or require to uh, get somebody's Facebook login information I, I see that happen all of the time so if you're a real estate agent or really anybody that has um, that's asking that has people working on their accounts they should never ask you they should never ask you for your contact information I'm sorry your login information when it comes to Facebook so be very careful with that all right and then you can just go on and create a new page from here as well 
All right, okay, so we're gonna go to add accounts. Add accounts, again, this is probably gonna be blank. Actually, this will be blank. Whenever you create your business, add account. And I highly suggest that you go on to create an entirely new account so that way you start off you start off fresh and then go on to have that third level of separation or that second level of separation that I was talking about earlier. So you're not only advertising from your personal ad account, you're advertising from an ad account that you created within the business manager account. So that way, if this ad account gets shut down, you can create another one. No big deal. If your business manager gets shut down, you create another one. Now, if your personal ad account gets it gets shut down, then that's it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to add an ad account, request access to an ad account, and create a new ad account. So basically the same three options that you saw with the business page. So when you go to add an ad account, so if you already have an ad account or are sharing an ad account from one of your um, business partners or whoever you are sharing an ad account from, you would do that right there. Uh, request access to an ad account. And then right there, so primary page required. So I don't have any linked up there, so it's not gonna let me. And then create a new ad account. So most of the time, you're gonna go down here to create a new ad account and be on your way. Now the rest of the items, now they're not as used or as used by, by me, but we're gonna cover them anyway. So business asset groups, welcome to business asset groups. Business assets groups allow you to connect assets, people and permissions all in one place. So you can add assets like pages, ad accounts and pixels you want to group together. So this is basically um, grouping things to make things easier on you because once you have a ton of pages, once you have a ton of ad accounts and a ton of different uh, pixels then you do want to make it easier on yourself in this way i personally don't do this but you can see that you can absolutely do that for yourself now if you have some apps this is where you would connect your your apps i don't have any apps to work with so i don't have any connected i don't have the instagram account or my instagram account connected to this particular business manager because this is my this is the business manager that I used to to teach out of the uh, so I don't have my Instagram account linked up here. I have it linked up to my other um, I let's see I have two others so I have them linked up to my other accounts my business manager accounts there. All right, so line of business doesn't have any line of business. All Facebook lines of businesses you've added to business manager will be listed here. So if you have multiple lines of businesses and want to keep them separated so it's not to confuse you, this is where you would go. It's very rarely used, but just know that you have the option to do that as well. And then data sources. So this is where you can pull in the pixels. This is where you can pull in information um, that is that you are used to creating over in the toolbar section. So you're used to creating conversions, you're used to creating pixels, you're used to creating events. This is where you can pull them in. Now again, since this is, this is a test for me, not this particular ad account is a test account for me. It's not one that uh, has much ac activity here. So data sources, if you have a catalog of products, you can add them right here to the business manager. So once you have it on the business manager, it's easier to um to push down to your ad accounts rather than ad accounts going into your business manager you'll you can certainly do that but just know that when you're adding them here when you create the ad accounts there um there forward it's easier for you to use the the pixels the conversions and all that fun stuff so that's why you are being asked if you want to add them to this actual account this business manager account and then your pixels so I have a few right here that I use for testing purposes, offline event sets. So if you have created offline events, basically it with an offline event, you have to coordinate data transfer from your point of sale service into Facebook. So you can, um, so you can measure the offline events that way. Custom conversions. We've covered custom conversions quite a bit. I haven't pulled them into this particular business manager account, but Custom conversions is something that you can share from the business manager as well. Event source groups, group all your event sources. So very much like up here, business asset groups, you can group them right here. Shared audiences, you can share audiences. Audiences shared with ad accounts or those shared with you will be listed here. So you can share audiences between ad accounts. So if you have an ad account that is 
um, heavily used to do X that you can share it with another ad account that is heavily used to do Y or whatever the case may be. And then business creative folders. This one, I actually don't have too much information on. All the Facebook business creative folders you've added to Business Manager will be listed here. This one, I don't have that much information on. This is a relatively new ad. I will have to dig deep for dig in deeper to understand what exactly that would do and really more the benefit of having that is it, it even is. So branded safety, so the domains and block list. So uh, uploading your domains or, or sharing your domains right there. And then block list of that block list. I haven't used it. Doesn't have any block list yet. When you add block list for audience network to business manager, they'll appear here. So I don't, um, so block list for audience network to business manager. So if you have some list, a list of, a list of websites that you don't want to advertise on when it comes to the audience network, then you can add them right here. That is the um, that is the extent of my knowledge on that. Registrations, so news pages. You can see there's a lot of a lot of things that come with the business manager. You'll be able to manage your registration and add optional information about your publication once you've selected pages. I don't use that. Integrations, leads access. So leads access, this is where you, I'll read right here, move myself. You can control which people and CRMs can access your leads by customizing leads uh, access settings. By default, all page admins connected to CRMs for, and then that page can access leads. So you can decide the, uh, this is a relatively new um, feature because Facebook now has a free CRM where all of the leads import. So you can decide which ones actually import into your into your CRM. And then payments, you set up some payments from the business manager account. So you would link up your credit cards, security center. If you want to have the two-factor authentication, add another admin, that's, um, that's useful. I actually don't have either, but that is useful. Well, I don't have either for this particular manager. And then request, if you received any request to um, to access pages, to access anything, ad accounts and business manager, you would see them right here, sort of like notifications, which we kind of get to the notifications right here. Turn notifications on and off for your business and accounts on Facebook. These are your personal settings and don't affect. So you can receive notifications anytime something has changed. So if you're working with people and you see that they continue to add other uh, members to the group or other members to business manager, you're going to get notified that way. So as you can see, many of these are, are, um, are, well, actually it's half and half at this point. So business permissions, business roles, business updates, support, marketing updates, program, newsletter, and events. These are all off pages. These are on ad accounts. Those are on what's up accounts. I can actually turn those off. Well, my WhatsApp is not even connected to this account anyway, so that's good. And then business information, you're gonna find that I haven't filled any of this out because it, again, it's for testing. So here, you do wanna fill out as much information as possible and especially verify the business account because you don't want to have any incongruencies with what you're advertising on your business page and what's in your business manager account. That's a great way to get your bad business manager account shut down. Trust me, I've had one happen that way where the domains weren't lining up. The domain that I had previously input as a placeholder through my business manager account, I did not uh, I did not have with my business pages that I was advertising. So that was a that was a prime motivation for them shutting me down or shutting that particular business manager account. And I lost the um, the ad accounts and that business manager altogether. So go ahead and fill this out to the best of your abilities. You you may not have a tax ID, so you may not have a an EIN number, but that's fine. Fill out as much as you possibly can, and make sure that these are congruent with your business page. So just make sure that that's um that is happening because if you don't, again, you can run the you can't run the risk of, of your business manager getting shut down altogether. Well, now that you know more about the Facebook business manager, it's time to actually start launching some campaigns. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. 
Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.